Africa and in our One Africa student would be Salisa. Welcome to One Africa. Thank you. Thank I'm you. particularly excited about having you because I love awards. Yes. I love gospel music awards and I've been following what's been happening overseas every year and I try to pick a winner but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> so we're going to see if I do better this time around. Welcome. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, come the 28th of November of 2014, mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock in the evening, at the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town, we're going to have the very first Cape Town Victory Gospel, Gospel Music, Music Awards. Awards. Why only in 2014? It's not like gospel music started yesterday. I know, I know. You forgot the blue carpets. Oh, yes. yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there, but it's going to be classy. <laughs> it's very classy. Um, basically, I just, I just, it's an idea that just came to me. Um, when I saw the talent in Cape Town, I thought, you know what? Why didn't I think this um, long time ago? You yeah. know what I mean? It's something that is needed in Cape Town. Um, you know, it, it, time it's God's timing I think yeah. it's really God's timing so yes for the very first time you know in Cape Town yeah so you're the founding member of exactly. the Cape Town Gospel Music Big Association, association. Yes. Uh, has this association been around for a long time no um, it's really started last year and basically what we're looking at is to um, uplift the level of gospel music in Cape Town and uh, gospel music is very much diverse these days um, at, and in the past we would talk about um, traditional gospel but now we're talking about gospel hip-hop yeah. we're talking about jazz you know what I mean so um, it really um, I looked at the the talent that we have in mm -hmm. Cape Town and I thought you know what um, we need we need to exposure a bit of, a bit of exposure and also I mean we hold workshops as well to, to teach the artists about the music business so that they understand the business yeah. that they, they they're in and um, vocal training you know and, 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 and things like that just to make sure that um, they succeed in their in their career um, I was part of the planning behind a very popular radio station in, in our Cape Town area mm -hmm. planning for a gospel uh, a war, a music competition. Yes, they, yes. they had a top 20, which yes, they narrowed yes, down. Yes. Uh, and it was so popular that before they'd even selected the people that were going to be in the top 20, fans were, were voting and they okay. were going out to buy more airtime. And it's, and it's great to award the, the artists. They're the mm -hmm. ones doing the hard work. But the fans are... They love it and they're going crazy for it. And this is a wonderful time as well for them to be made aware of who else is out there, who's yes. big, who's hot, who's happening. Yes. And they can grow their fan base. Yes, 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 definitely. Um, I mean, the response that we got, we got is a phenomenal. I'm telling you, um, people are voting, you know, people are getting votes. And, you know, people are really, really excited to see their local artists, yeah. you know what I mean? And some of the artists from the top 20, by the way, are, are nominated. Exactly. So, yeah. So we had a, a, a big a media launch happening. And and the artists were like literally waiting and staring at our page to see who made it, you know what I mean? So it was really exciting, it was really exciting. And you passed on a nomination form to me if there was anybody that I could yes, have connected to yes, and nominated. Yes. And how many of those forms came back? I mean, what has the response been like? And when you get to the awards come November 28th, like, do some name dropping. Let the fans out there have an idea of who they can expect. Um, in terms of the uh, local artists, yes. I mean, um, we've got the likes of uh, Sunday Hendrix, um, hip hop. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We've got the likes of Kumani Ngojo. And by the way, Kumani Ngojo is also nominated in the SABC Crown Gospel Music so Award. We've got class. This is not just Cape Town for Cape Town's sake, this is Cape Town for the country's yes, sake. Yes, definitely. So, about two of our artists that are nominated in the Victory are also nominated in the Crown Gospel Award. Beautiful. So, it's really, it's, it's, it's not us uh, celebrating of our, our own for the sake of it. It's like the whole South Africa, this has made enough noise for the whole of South Africa to realize that they are artists in Cape Town. So artists, uh, um, fans can really go to Ascape and you will see your artists and just vote so yeah. that they can actually win the award and we also got the best community um radio station uh, um award so yes uh, vote for your favorite uh community radio station as well so how can the fans out there find out more about the artists and vote for them is there a facebook page a website how are they going to be able to see them and there them? is um, a facebook page it's cape town gospel association but also there's cape town gospel victory music uh, cape town victory gospel music award yeah that's 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 the um that's the uh, page they can like the page all the information is there uh, we find that most people don't really go to the website I mean we've got an information page which yeah. is www.capetowngospel.co.za but people um, these days they go to social networks that's right. so that's 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 where we are and every update is there you know in Great. terms of the pictures and stuff like that so 
people can just like the page and then they'll get their info there. Is there a Twitter handle that they can follow to keep an eye on things? Yes, it's at Cape Town Gospel. Fantastic. So now come 28th of November, it's a big deal, a blue carpet event. Yes. Most people know about red carpets. Yes. Can you tell us what is a blue carpet event? Um, a blue carpet is not a red carpet. <laughs> as simple as that. As simple as that. So We're like, it's the first time in Cape Town we want to um, get attention uh, from everyone. And, and also, uh, blue is the sky and everything and stuff like that. This is but, Cape Town. But, this is, but th this is Cape Town. You know, it's like we didn't want to be red. We wanted to be different. Because we are different. I mean, it's a beautiful city. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, 28th of November, tickets are still available and yes. can be purchased. Yes. Give us some idea where we can get those tickets. Uh, Compu Ticket and, and ShopRite. Um, it's 150 or 250 But if they club in as a group mm -hmm. of 20 or more, they uh, pay a discount of 30 rand which means for the 150 they pay 120 and for 250 they pay 220 and also if you're a student uh, just produce a student card and um, pay a discount of 30 rand uh, if you're a pensioner because yeah. it's so diverse it's like if I look at the LSM it's 1 to 9 this <laughs> year you know no 1 to 10 you know what I mean if you're a pensioner please come please come Atscape is you know we've, we've yeah. Everything is, we've set everything for you, um, discount of 30 rand. Absolutely. And come dressed up. You know, I've been going to the Artscape at times, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things about that was I remember as a child when my dad and mom first took me, they used to have a different name in those days, yeah. and, and they would say, no, you can't go dressed like that. It's ties, it's looking good. Oh. And then I've been going and I see people take it too casually. Yes. I say you've got to take it seriously oh, yes, when you go to the Artscape. Definitely, dress up definitely, for that blue definitely. carpet event. Oh, definitely. You, you contact your designer. No. You have to contact your designer. I mean, there will be media. Yeah, there. Yes. You know what I mean? There'll be you get interviews everywhere. So you don't let the camera catch you yeah, and yeah, you yeah. are not wearing appropriately. Yeah, boys, shine their <laughs> shoes, I tell you what. So let's talk about some of the big names. This is we okay. wrap up some of the big names uh, nationally that we can expect mm -hmm. that are going to be part of the extravaganza. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we have um, Rebecca Malope. Um, uh, Rebecca Malope. We well, what, big... what would a gospel award uh, be without Rebecca without, Malope? Exactly. We've got um, Zanel Mbokazi mm -hmm. as well. Um, uh, we've also got Jabu Shongwane, which is a joyous celebration. Um, We've also got Vicky Samson oh, yes. coming to I'm telling you, but she's just a guest. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes, um, we're still waiting confirm confirmation for, of, of other. Um, but Neville D is also going to be performing yeah, good there. Of ours, yes. yes, yes, yes. So um, yeah, please get there. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it, Mubi Salisa. Great spending time with you. Yeah. We're excited. Uh, we look forward to a great news of a successful event yes. and that that Artscape is going to be jam-packed full of South African yes. and Cape Town gospel music fans. Yes, yes, yes. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you so much. I hope to see you there. Absolutely. Ooh, yes. I'm going to be dressed to the T. I'm you telling you. you know, people that watch uh, One Africa don't often see a collar and tie on this man, but we'll change things 28th of November. <laughs>